All right, guys, thanks for clicking on my link. This is actually one of my first videos that I've ever done with my actual video camera. So hopefully this goes well. If you're not going to say nothing positive on my link thing, I'd rather you just not say nothing. Just keep it to yourself, guys. Uh, let's all be adults to a certain degree. Uh, here to have fun, but let's just keep it positive. Uh, so um, this is my uh, AR-15. What I ended up doing is I ended up, uh, I went to take uh, my CWP class here in South Carolina. The guy that was actually teaching the class, I just went up to him. I was actually in the process of building a, a AR-15 and uh, I was really looking to get the Spikes Tactical um, and even the Punisher. Uh, and I went up to him, I was like, you know, after the actually during our break, I was like, man, I was like, you know, uh, I know you uh, own a, your own gun, uh, gun store. And I was like, man, is there any chance that you guys have a Spikes Tactical Lower Punisher? And he goes, you know what? Uh, Oscar, I think I do. So um, after the class, we went over to his store, and sure enough, he had it. And I was like, I'll take it. Um, so I started off with a strip lower here. Uh, and then I ended up uh, building it. I ended up going with uh, Palmetto State Armory Lower Parts Kit. Uh, and then um, I ended up wearing that. It uh, just it was the lower parts kit. Then it came with the, the grip and this. Then I ended up getting their CTR stock with the, the buffer tube inside. I'm actually one of the luckier ones that got the one with the, uh, actually, the logo on there. Uh, and I, I'm not going to show you guys that, um, but uh, here is my AR-15. I got the, uh, you guys know what that is. All right, there's the Aimpoint Pro red dot. Uh, this is the um, Phantom 2 C2 flash hider, I believe. That's my latest upgrade, I guess I should say. Um, this is a mid-length premium upper by Palmetto State. The uh, hand guards are, are really nice. I like them. Uh, the mid-length uh, Mo hand guards, real nice. I, I, I don't regret this purchase at all. I'm not, I don't know what it is about the, um, the, uh, the AR-15 quad rails. I don't know if I put my hand, you know, I just, I don't know, I, I like this. So uh, this is what I went with. Uh, the CTR uh, buttstock here. Uh, got the. I wanted to show you guys these two. Um, you guys know what these are? The P mags. Thirty round. Uh, this is the thirty round one, and then this is the uh, the twenty round. I actually prefer the twenty round, and I and and I'll give you a reason why. Uh, it's basically just you know I like the way that. And obviously there's there's nothing in it, guys. Okay, I might as well do a safety check for all the nuts on YouTube and all this stuff. But uh, here we go. You guys can see this. Nothing the rifle. Okay. Actually, while I'm even on here, I might as well just let you know. Nickel boron. Yeah, it's the latest and greatest, man. I can shoot this thing dry. Um, you know, I can put sand in there. It'll still fire, fire uh, reliably. Nah, I'm just kidding. But it is nickel boron. Uh, it, it does clean easier. Uh, I'm not going to say it's 100%, you know. Uh, but for the most part, uh, I like it. It looks it looks nice, you know. Um, it's definitely losing its color a little bit. It used to be a lot shinier. It's probably got about 500 rounds to this rifle. But overall, I, I really like it. Um, but the reason that I like the the 20 round P mags is I can put this in again. There's no ammo in it, guys. Uh, I can put this in here, and I really like how short and low profile it is. You know, if if you want to be prone, you can put it on there. It won't be all crazy uh, as far as like you know teeter tottering on you getting in the way. Um, so if you guys have the the AR-15 style mags and you don't have any 20 round, they don't even have to be P mags. I mean, just whatever. But the 20 round, I, I definitely like the way that that looks. I almost prefer them. I have some 30 rounders, some you know just just cause. But overall, I do prefer the 20 round P mags. Um, but again, it's up to you guys. I'll show a, I'll show a, the 30 round one in there too. Hopefully you guys see that. But there's the 30 round. And now you can see how far off the table is now. How far off the rifle is and stuff from the table. So I mean now you can see like all kinds of slop in the rifle. Um, so again, I mean that's completely up to you. Uh, with what, whatever you guys, how you want to build your rifle. I mean it's your rifle, you do whatever. The mags are... Or kind of, I mean, it's so easy to change out. So, but basically, I mean, if you don't have any 20 round P mags, I would or 20 round uh, AR-15 mags, I would definitely get some. This is the uh, CTR stock. It's got the friction lock on it versus the Mo, which doesn't. This is nice. It, it definitely doesn't wobble when you lock it down. So I, I definitely like that feature. Then I got the little sling thing here, uh, which I've noticed. I mean, 
whenever I use my sling, you know, it seems like it kind of gets in the way. Man, if you guys uh, can, there's a guy on YouTube, Frank Proctor. Um, check out some of his videos and Superset CA, I believe. Superset CA. The video quality of these guys, man, especially Superset, no offense, but he's actually filming Frank Proctor a lot of his videos. Man, outstanding. Um, Frank Proctor, man, I'm really looking forward to taking one of your classes. Uh, he's actually in Alabama, which is, I'm in South Carolina, uh, a few hours away from me. I actually contacted him. He replied back to me. Real cool dude, is like he likes to say, but real nice guy. And uh, Superset, man, you make some awesome videos, man. If you ever watch one of mine, they're going to be nowhere near as good. But, hey, you know, trying to contribute here. Um, and then, again, this is my Yankee Hill uh, C2 Phantom Flash Hider. Gives the gives the rifle a nice, clean look or, or an aggressive look. I, I really like the way this thing is. Uh, the uh, mid-length A2 Flash Hider. This is chambered. The upper is chambered in 5.56, meaning I can shoot 5.56 and 2.23. If you guys are building a rifle, do not. I mean, it's it's completely up to you, but I would not purchase an, an AR upper chambered in 2.23. It's pointless. Uh, my opinion, um, you know... Um, Get it chambered in 5.56 so you can shoot both calibers. If you get it chambered in 2.23 and then you buy 5.56, you can have problems. Uh, so definitely don't even go that route, in my opinion. Um, but again, it is a Spikes Tactical Lower. Okay, um, It's got the uh, Palmetto State Upper. All right. Um, I was really actually happy with the finish. I mean, it, uh, you see a little bit of difference here, but overall, I mean, it, it, it turned out really, really nice. You can't really tell like the difference in shades too much in person. I mean, I, I'm really happy with it. I was a little worried about that. Because again, I mean, it's my first AR. I want it to look pretty. I don't want to get it to get scratched. And again, guys, uh, you know, this is my first one. And I've actually got a couple uh, more upstairs um, that I'm working on. You know, I, I don't have them built yet, but I got a couple lowers and stuff. And I'm actually going to do a comparison on certain lowers. Uh, so far, if I had to do it all over again, um, between uh, the ones that I have now are uh, Palmetto State Lower, I have the Spikes Tactical Lower, and then the Seekins uh, Precision Lower. Out of all of them, I do like the Seekins Precision Lower, and I'll show you why in a video that I'll do here in the near future. Um, but uh, overall, the rifle turned out really good. The one thing I do like about the upper and the lower is that um, Palmetto State did not put their little insignia on it or there's nothing that says Palmetto State about it so it's it's almost like it was meant to be I mean the rifle looks awesome uh, it's got a real nice look to it um, and fire is really good I mean uh, you know I've got it I went ahead and zeroed it in at 50 yards um, and it turned out really I mean I'm able to hit I got some nice grouping all the way up to 100 yards because that's the range that we're at 100 yards it's uh, it's free local range it's awesome it's outside uh, and uh, really, really like it. Um, let me see if I can get this red dot on for you guys, so you guys can see the red dot. Let's see here. Turn this thing on. I hope you guys can see that. There it is. Uh, so there's the uh, red dot. This aim point. Uh, you still see it there? The aim point is uh, definitely, you guys should recognize the name. The one great thing I like about this uh, this aim point, or the red dot, is the battery life. The battery life is insane. I want to say, I think it's got like 3,000 hours of battery life, which turns out to be seven, I mean, uh, three years of constant on on setting seven, okay? Uh, which is, is, is very, very good. It's not like it's really, really dim. It's not really too bright. It's actually probably the perfect setting. So you're going to get three years of constant perfect setting, uh, you know, of a constant uh, setting that you would typically use in, in bright set, uh, bright um, uh, lighting and low lighting situations. I mean, it's a great setting. It's number seven. It's three years of constant on. It's still a very impressive. Now, if I had to do it all over again, would I buy an aim point? I don't know. I mean, uh, I got a, I ordered also a TRS-25. I also have a SIG 522. I have it on my SIG 522 and I'm pretty happy with the Bushnell. If you're going to be starting off and, and you're on a budget, do not go with a net aim point. Uh, I would definitely recommend the Bushnell TRS-25. It is a great sight. Um, I do know that uh, 
at certain uh, times, I want to say they were running like a special on the Bushnell with a 20% rebate. Mail-in rebate turned out to be like 20 bucks, and then you can get a UTG riser through Amazon. I want to say I think I used the high mount riser, uh, and uh, again, uh, I think I paid like $85 for both, and uh, they work. it works really, really good. Um, but this is my rifle here. It's got the bad lever on there. Uh, all this was already painted when I got it. I didn't do none of that. Uh, the um, the bolt carrier group inside the rifle is is a nickel boron, like I mentioned earlier. I, I got it through core 15. And then while I'm here, it's got the uh, the the BCM charging handle on here. And I'll tell you what, this BCM charging handle is the best. I mean, I can I can charge this weapon, put it in the battery so quick. Uh, if you don't have a BCM charging handle, you just got a regular one. I'm sure I can charge it faster than you can. Um, just kidding, guys. I mean, it's it is a good charging handle. Uh, you know, it, I like the way it looks. You know, it's got it's got a real nice look to it. But you know, again, it's all about functionality. It's all about what you can afford. It's not like this thing's super crazy, but get what you can, guys. You know, um, and then eventually later on, you can buy another one. Uh, this is not my first charging handle. I got also when I ordered the bolt carrier group through Core 15. Let me charge this up so you guys can see it. Um, when I when I bought my bolt carrier group through Core 15, I paid $1.99 for the bolt carrier group. It came with the nickel boron coated hammer, which is in here. And it also came with their charging handle. I think it's the V2, I want to say. I paid $1.99 for all of that. Um, ever since the shooting in Connecticut, and I just, man, I just, I'm still torn up about that and about the kids and stuff. It's just terrible stuff, man. It's just, uh, only one thing that happened there was just evil. Uh, man, it's just, uh, it's terrible. Um, but uh, back on subject here, uh, got the nickel boron group hammer, and I'll go ahead and open up the rifle so you guys can see that, and also that bumper tube through all metal state. Maybe I should have cleaned this thing. I did go to the range this past weekend, but this is the uh, the hammer, the coated nickel boron. Uh, this is the the Palmetto State buffer tubes. Yeah, it's, mine's got the little insignia on it. Yours probably doesn't if you're done a recent build. Uh, I've been told that the new ones uh, they do not have the Palmetto State uh, logo on there, so that's what it looks like, guys. If, uh, if you were wondering about that, uh, and then here's the inside of my rifle. So nice, isn't it? Mm, but uh, that's pretty much it guys. I mean, it's pretty much it in a nutshell uh, Sorry guys And I know I'm gonna be getting I will be getting a tripod This is if you guys saw what I was working with right now you guys probably laugh I hope you guys liked the video, but this is my AR-15 story I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, make a comment. But again, guys, I mean, this is my first video. I know it's not perfect. I'm trying to work on it here and um, just keep it positive. You know, there's no no need to be rude and say mean stuff. You know, if you guys don't like it, don't watch it. You know, but uh, here it is. Here's my AR-15. And I'm going to try to post some more videos. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care and God bless you. Bye.